after Nick decided to tell me that he was making videos again, um, I decided to go check out our YouTube channel again because I hadn't seen anything in my subscriptions, but apparently we were making videos again. So I've actually started like three vlogs in the past month and a week because ever since school started I've tried like three different times to make a vlog, but they failed each time. Um, yeah, so anyway, here we go again, trying it again. We'll see if I can get back into the swing of this. And I'm totally game for making this like a thing that we do again. If maybe we could like assign days or something like how they do on um, like five awesome girls and five awesome guys and like vlog brothers, how they switch off. Like they go Monday, Wednesday, Friday and they switch off who has it. I don't know, just have some like consistency with this. Cause I think that would be a nice thing to try to do. But uh, it appears as though I am not properly dressed to make a video. So um, just, 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 just one sec. I feel like a priest. And see, I, unlike Nick, actually know how to tie a tie because I had to do this for work all the time. Pretty simple, really. This is, um, like a Windsor knot or something like that. I don't know. They have a fancy name for it. Right, let's see how we do. It's a little warm. Anyway, I'm nicely dressed, as apparently is the code of these videos. I know it's not a white shirt, it's a black shirt, but. You know what? That's what we wear in fancy restaurants. What can I tell you? So anyway, um, in terms of this video, I was criticized for not having structure, apparently, but that's like my thing. I kind of started that. So I don't know what you're talking about. Um, in terms of my favorite segment, which apparently Cam says he started, which I suppose is true, but I'm the one who's had it in every video that I've made pretty much, I think. Um, in terms of something new, let's see what we have. My second appearance of a new set of headphones, actually. Um, some of you have seen these, some of you have not, but they are Heartbeats by Lady Gaga. Yep. That's right. Uh, they're actually super nice. I got them on clearance at Best Buy, and I love them. They're really, really, really comfortable. They have great sound. And so far, so good. Second something new is this book. It's called Game Change. It's um about the election of 2008, and Miss Miller is lending it to me, and it's super great, and I absolutely love it. Um, she gave it to me on Friday, and I'm on page 287. Almost done. Hopefully, I'll finish it tomorrow. But yeah, it's, so it's been two full days, and a little bit, and I finished like almost 300 pages. I'll probably finish to 300 tonight. But anyway, um, other exciting new things that happened. Um, let's go back to the list. Oh, something else I wanted to talk about since I was just talking about my book, Game Change, and the way that whole conversation and me finding out about the book started was because I brought my favorite book ever, except not, to uh, school the other day, which I have right here. Yeah, that's right. That, that, that's happening. Um, I wanted to share a particularly great excerpt from this book that started that whole entire conversation. So instead of making you read, like Cam did, I'm just going to read to you. You know, as, as Molly said, don't you need to read a book before you can write one? Well, we're about to find out. Because this is a particularly excellent, excellent, excellent uh, quote. Oh, if I could only find it. Here we go. Alright. Um, through the magic of editing, you'll think that I just, like, magically found this quote, but that just took me a good four minutes or so. Uh, anyway, I meant to fold down this page, but I forgot. This reads, um... It's talking about the vetting process, and she writes, Back out in the living room with Salter and Schmidt, who were the two guys who were doing the vetting process, the conversation turned to the topic of theories of origins. And that, it seemed, was when the big guy hit the pause button. He knew my position. I believed in the evidence of microevolution, that geologic and species changes occurred incrementally over time. But I didn't believe in the theory that human beings, thinking, loving beings, originated from fish that sprouted legs and crawled out of the sea. 
were that human beings began as single-celled organisms and developed into monkeys who eventually swung down from the trees. I believed that we came through a random process, but were created by God. But I believe that God created us and that he can create an evolutionary process that allows species to change and adapt. Uh, she continues to go on to talk about how creationism is real. Um, and, you know, I mean, people are entitled to their religious opinion, but I just think that for her to try to shove this down ideas down people's throats and try to promote, you know, ignorance and get people to stop talking about other theories outside of creationism is just when things start to get a little extreme for me and just kind of, you know, encroaching on other people's rights to knowledge and information through your insistence that you're the one who's right is is when things get dicey, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I thought you might get a little chuckle out of it. Uh, overall, it's a really terrible book. It's really awful. Don't buy it. Don't give her any more money. My dad refused to buy it, so my friend gave it to me as a gift. And while I appreciate it, it's just awful. It's really bad. So yeah, uh, that's that. So in terms of your video cam, uh, I'm very jealous that you got Halo Reach. I my, my Xbox was taken by my brother to college, and his is broken, and he left it here. I have to send it off or something, apparently, to like get it fixed, because it red ringed. So I'm pissed about that. I haven't been able to play Xbox in quite a while. So I'll be really out of practice when we finally get to play Call of Duty together. Which will be good for you, I suppose. Um, in terms of the new Harry Potter trailer, it's absolutely amazing. It's kind of old news at this point, because it's been like two weeks since, you know, you, you posted your video like a week ago, and now it's been another week or so. But, um, yeah, great, great, great trailer. So good. Uh, super excited for that movie. It's going to be, I think, aside from the fact that it's Harry Potter, it's just going to be a great movie in general. Um, it just seems like it's going to have a lot of the elements that make movies great, which is super exciting. And uh, you showed off your British version of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows. Well... I myself have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Philosopher's Stone. Um, I've fun fact. This is one of my facts in Two Truths and a Lie. I've never read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I've only read Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So um, yeah, the British version is kind of cool. I like the picture on the front better, and I think it's kind of entertaining how they spell things differently. You know, like color and stuff like that. Uh, I'm also listening to book number seven right now, so, you know, because you and I are each other and we have this weirdo, you know, read each other's minds thing, I've been listening to number seven on tape uh, for the past week or so, which is when you've been reading Harry Potter 7, apparently. Yeah, no comment. In terms of movies that I'm really excited to see, because you talked about that as well in your video, I'm pumped to see The Town. My brother and I are supposed to go see it. Yesterday we didn't go. My parents and I we might we were gonna go see it last night, but we didn't. And then today I just got busy and didn't end up seeing it. But we'll probably catch a show maybe on like the Tuesday, the cheap movie day or something. See how much homework I have on Oh, I have babysitting Tuesday, so not this Tuesday, but whatever. Outside of that, that's where my list ends. Um, we're reading a really good book in my world lit class called The Alchemist. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. It's like, it's one of the most quotable books I've ever read in that every page has a great quote that you could totally apply to, like, any situation in real life, and that's really cool. Um, maybe next video I'll share some of these quotes that are so awesome, but I'll actually pick them out ahead of time, like I did with the Sarah Palin book, so that way I'm not sitting here flipping through pages endlessly. Um, so yeah, other than that, hopefully we can get back into the cycle of doing these things. Maybe we can set rules, like how Vlogbrothers has, like, four-minute videos with punishments and stuff like that. I don't know, it might be entertaining. And it'll keep it a little bit easier because we'll actually just come up with quick short videos and it makes it easier to make more of them. And um, anyway, I hope everyone else is doing well and enjoying the three-day weekend. Columbus Day, what a great holiday. Totally. Celebrating just a great guy doing great things. Definitely. And um, other than that, looking forward to seeing more videos. Alright, see ya.